You know, storing these spinner rigs, you know, as you move from spot to spot or in your rod locker can be kind of difficult. You've got a big weight banging around there. And one thing you want to do is for sure keep that away from the tip because that's a surefire way to not only get tangles, but to really break that, uh, that rod up uh, totally. So what I like to do is like, if I'm keeping them outside my rod locker, um, basically in the garage or in the boat or whatever, I keep them fully extended out. I like telescoping rods. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook I'm gonna hook the rear hook on the frame, not the guide. And then I'm gonna take it to the reel here. I'm gonna take that, that slack and I'm gonna put it on the non-reel side. I'm gonna put it on where you don't have the handle and the gears and stuff to get in the way. And then what I'm gonna do is kind of open the bale, just put my hand on there, and I'm gonna wrap that down a few times so that I get that, so that sinker is down lower. And I've got my hooks up. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab me a rod sock. We're gonna show you. Love me these little rod slicks. Get these from Clam. You can get them at Fish USA. And I'm going to put this over. And you can see I do it the same way every time. And I, I buy these so they fit right on there. That weight is just in there, but it's not going to get tangled up. Everything's not going to be all over the place. You can put a handful of these things in your garage or on the side of the boat like I've got here. And it's going to make a big difference in not getting things tangled up, grabbing one rod, getting one rod, whether it's on the side of the boat, the garage, or your rod locker.